All right, ready? ready? Go. Go. Guys, what I want to do is we, today we are going to talk about this adapter. Now, what uh, what this is capable of doing? This is a Makita adapter that will go for both Milwaukee. Sorry, that's right. Milwaukee, and it'll also be it also could be used for Dewalt. We are going to see the difference between these batteries because the Makita does not make batteries that are 21700 cells so I want to see in how well this impact wrench could do with a 21700 cell battery and we're going to see what the difference is between the regular Makita 3 amp hour battery battery is full battery is full on the regular 3 amp hour Makita and so this can be a good one so please subscribe to the channel all right, but for the tool, this is model number XWT11. This goes to a max of 2,800 RPM and a max of 3,500 impacts per minute. So the, I'll put the torque for this in right now, but uh, let's get to the log and see what this could actually do. All righty, so what we're, we are gonna do is we are gonna do one four inch each battery, one six inch each battery and one 10 inch each battery so it's going to be a good one so please subscribe to the channel you guys first let's do the four inches i'm actually curious in how well this is going to go because i've never used a makita with a 21700 bat uh, cell battery I, i'm i'm curious my, i'm seriously curious right here is good all right so ready go Time. All right, so that is the bat. We'll judge the battery life as well at the end of the video. I'm not worried about temperature, so let's whip out the the, Maki the Milwaukee battery. Do it right next to it, right there. I'm excited about this. All right, so ready? Go. Time, 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 time. All right, so let's take it out. Ready, go. Time for that. Let's whip out the Milwaukee battery. All right, so ready, go. Time. I do not know what the test results are until I after until after I edit the video. Well, let's bring on the six inch. That four inch lag is easy, so the real difference you're going to see is the ten inch lag. When the motor needs to uh, really push, that's when the twenty one seven hundred cells really kick in. So I want to uh, that ten inch lag is what you want to see. But I want to see gradually what the difference is, if there is a difference. So let's see if this was worth it. We'll do this right here. We'll do the 10 inches, the two 10 inches right here. Right there is good. Ready? Go.
smidge more. Time. Time, time, time. Let's make sure that pin... Oh, the, it, is, it is a pin detent, by the way. Let's put that in like so. All right, so let's switch over to the uh, three amp hour Milwaukee battery. Milwaukee battery is still full. And the Makita battery is at three bars. But that's after it did an extra task. So this might go down to three bars as well. All right, right here is good. This is where we're gonna see the difference. All right, ready? Go. Time, it did it. It did, that did seem to, uh, uh, without even knowing the actual results, that did seem faster. That did seem faster to me. See, and the, uh, because of the rubber molding on the bottom, the Milwaukee battery is just gonna stay put. This is uh, smooth, so this, uh, the vibration of the, the log moves the, the battery. All right, so let's take it out. Ready, go. I have, a, I have a feeling that the uh, uh, Milwaukee battery is going to uh, dominate that. It is on high. It is on high. So let's take this out. Ready? Go. Oh, yeah. Time. We'll see what the... I'm interested in what those results are. And for the last and final test, the ultimate stress test, one 10 inch lag each. Let's switch over to the Makita battery. We'll do a battery check at, uh, at the end of this test. We're gonna do these right here. Right there is good. All right, so ready, go. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do this, I'm going to finish this, but I'm going to speed this up. And so the timer will be coordinated with the actual uh, uh, speed framing the, the video. This is going to take a while. So I'm not going to make you sit here for the entire thing. All right, so let's, get, let's continue and speed it up. A little bit more. Time. It did it. That took a while. My hands started cramping up after a little bit. Let's switch over to the uh, to the Milwaukee battery. Let's see on how well this actually does with 21,700 cells. Ready? Hopefully it only takes like 20 seconds. Ready? Go. Oh, go. All right, got it. Reposition that. Yeah, that's not a good spot. We'll do it right here. All right, so ready, go. Time. Uh, it did seem like it did. It still took a while, but it did seem like it was faster than the the regular three amp hour battery. All right, the battery life on the Milwaukee is two bars. Battery life on the Makita is two bars. So they're equally using uh, the, uh, consuming the battery. 
All right, so let's take out the Makita's lag, then we'll take out the Milwaukee battery lag. All right, ready? Go. Time. That's going to be hot. Yeah, this tool is hot. This tool is hot. Only has a few more seconds of work. All right, so the Milwaukee battery, ready? Time. Bam. Yeah, so I, when it comes to the two batteries, I do not know until I edit the video, but I do think that the 21700 cell battery helped out the, the Makita tool. So yeah, but the battery life, the final battery life is two bars on the Makita, and the battery life on the Milwaukee is two bars as well. So they equally use the battery. So I do want to do another video with the, with the brand new XPH14 hammer drill with the DeWalt uh, 60 amp hour 21700 cell battery see how well that does but that's not happening till the future but i do think it's cool that they actually do have adapters so you could use different brand batteries in a different brand tool which i think is cool like i said this works with the milwaukee and the dewalt and also the one that i have for ryobi uh the ryobi adapter works with the milwaukee and dewalt as well so i need I need to get more of these i want another one that'll work with the Makita batteries if we're, uh, to put those on, on another brand. So yeah, this is going to be a recurring thing on this channel, so please subscribe. So yeah, but it is cool that there, you do have battery adapters where you could use it on different brands. So that's pretty much it, you guys. I hope you found this video helpful and entertaining. Please like this video. Please hit the bell button to be notified of future videos, and please subscribe to the channel. This is Dave Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in. I'll see you guys next time. <laughs>